Right, next up, mutation. So the mutation, the first one is going to be create note. And this one gets nothing, variables and a cache. All right, on the context, good stuff. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get the notes, this, this uh, array from the cache. That's the first thing we need to do, get the notes from the cache. All right, first things first, get the note from the cache. So I am gonna create a new file here and I'm gonna call this file queries.js. The reason why I'm creating it here is because I need to use these queries on my client state, but also I will need to use them on my components because my components would also get, um, they also need the GraphQL queries, okay? So I'm gonna export const get notes and these will give the people let's say notes like this client and we want id title and content done all right so here what i'm going to do is i am gonna take it easy with you and i'm gonna show you step by step how it goes so i'm gonna say here notes all right or let's just say note query equals cache read query and the query is going to be get notes get notes so here i'm just going to read the query from the cache okay and i'm going to console log note query all right let's go let me close this let's go here refresh reload frame there be an error, of course. And let's do it. Mutation. Uh, wait. Mutation. Node. Add node. Create. Wow. Create node. Hello, uh, content sub, and this gets ID. All right, and this has to be from the cache. All right, now we come here, and what the fuck? Refresh, Apollo mutation, create node, create node, console log, node query, let's go. Console log it, what the fuck? Mutation, muta, mutation, mutation, create node, create node, variables, create node, create node. All right. Bravo, I had to put the client here, sorry. All right, so as you can see here, it works. It's getting the note and it's getting what I actually wanted, which is the array of notes, right? So that's a step one. First, I get the notes, that's part one. Second part is I need to create a new note. And remember, when I create a new note, it has to be exactly as the note type, like this, plus the type name, okay? So here I'm gonna say, const new note equals type name note. And this is the part that is very sexy about GraphQL. The fact that GraphQL, exact, more exactly Apollo, will check for any problem with the structure of your note. If you try to include a note that doesn't have the structure of your schema here, or the first one is not going to let that happen. On Redux, you can very easily fuck up and change your state with a shape that you don't want. In React Apollo, and React is uh, in Apollo is more secure in that sense. Okay. So let me get the title and the content content from the variables. 
and I just add them here, title, content, and now I need to create an ID, and the ID is going to be, let me see first, okay, so in node query, there is a notes inside of it, so I'm gonna do this, all right, and the ID is going to be notes, notes, that length, plus one. One second. Length is, okay. I always have problem with that fucking word, all right? And now what we need to do is say cache, write data. And here we write the data to the cache and we give him the data object, whatever it is. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna say notes, which is the one here, all right? And we're gonna say notes and we're gonna put the new note, all right? Plus all the other ones, the older ones, all right? And I'm gonna return, uh, shit, I need to return something, no? Create note, note. I need to return the new note, new note. And that's it. So you can see here, I'm writing data to the cache, to the notes key on top here, all right? And this just means all the previous ones. As you remember, when I console log notes, it's an array. What I'm doing here is all the previous things on the array, okay? These three dots mean the things inside of the array. This means the array, and this will be wrong because I will have a notes array that has one note and then another array inside of it. That's not good. And it is just the content of that array plus the new note. Okay, so let's see if it works. We can go Apollo, we will reload the frame. Cache doesn't work, it should be here. I don't know why it doesn't, this is shit. And let's do mutation, create node, title, hello, content, what's up. So let's go. It works, it looks like it works because the ID is number two. But now let's go and do a query. So let me just, can I do this? Pretty fine. Yeah, I can do that. No, I can't do that. Fuck. Okay. And now I'm gonna do query notes, uh, ID and title from the client. Sorry. Oh, look at that. Oh no, it works. Load from cache, sorry. I have to click load from cache, Jesus. Load from cache, look at that, it works. I have the hello note and I have the first note, which is what I wanted. Now let's add one more. By mutation, it works. And now, again, note, note, sorry, all of them, uh, title. By hello and first. And as you can see, it is fucking working. We are able to add stuff now to our arrays. Load from cache, always, always remember this, always load from cache. And now as you can see, it's working. Of course, when you refresh, everything's gonna go bye-bye. So if we refresh, it's gonna go bye-bye. And if I click here, I only have one, I think. Yeah, there's only one. I need to add one more, but as you can see, it's not so hard. It is very, very simple. It doesn't require lots of JavaScript. It doesn't require knowledge from arrays. It's just like common sense plus these things that I found on the documentation. That's it. You need to remember this, all right? Remember that you need to put the previous things else all the previous notes are gonna go bye-bye, okay? You, you need to put a new note plus the older ones. You cannot have just the new one, okay? Uh, that's it. Awesome, see you on the next one where we are going to edit one note. Bye-bye.